ladies and mercy gentlemen, today we're going to take a very, very early and exclusive look at the Soulbind system, which is coming to the game in Shadowlands. But before we get into all of that, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to check me out streaming the Shadowlands Alpha every single day, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM. Right, so yeah, we're going to take a special look at the Soulbind system and how it works, and kind of some of the animations and some of the cool little cutscenes and bits and pieces like that, and try and explain it best I can. It's not overly complicated, and it does have some cool little bits to it, but it does obviously have some concerning parts to it of course. Uh, so we're actually on a special event realm, shout out to Blizzard for the invite to this, this is actually insane to me. Right now we're on a level 60 uh, pre-made character in the Venthyr Covenant. So this character has essentially just picked their Covenant and we're currently in the uh, the Venthyr like Covenant Sanctum Sinful and uh, yeah so we have availability to the Soulbind thing. The Forge of Bonds I think it's called or something like that which is actually uh, pretty neat and it has some really awesome uh, animations by the way. Look at that. That is fantastic. So Soulbinds are essentially like a new talent tree. Uh, each of the four Covenants have three Soulbinds each. Uh, as I said, this is the Venthyr ones right here. You have like Nadia the Mistblade, you have Theotar the Mad Duke, and General Draven. And they all have like kind of different abilities. We could do another video going through all the different abilities uh, for the Soulbinds. There is actually a really great calculator over on Wowhead if you do want to check that out and have a little early look at some of the other Covenants uh, and obviously the Venthyr as well. Yeah, there's some pretty wild stuff in there and it's definitely going to change as we go through alpha as we go through beta uh, so when you actually get your soulbind you do get a really cool cutscene so let's check out that cutscene obviously work in progress but yeah this is the cutscene when you kind of first get and choose your soulbind Okay, so now let's kind of get into how this works. As I said, so these abilities here are for everyone. Like Agent of Chaos right now is for I'm on a warrior. If, if you go on like a priest or something like that, they'll have that too. They're pretty much just custom passive effects uh, to do with your specific soulbind, as you can see. And you kind of make your kind of trail down the soulbind here. Now, as you can see, we've taken this uh, left one here. We can no longer pick this right one. And then you get this kind of like empty uh, conduit slot. Now, a conduit is a little item that you get through uh, like high level content. So it can be PvE, PvP, potentially world content, anything like that, and uh, these are spec specific. So as of this kind of event realm, we've got the warrior ones, we just bought them from this incredibly named vendor. And uh, yeah, this is kind of what they look like. They're kind of like relics from uh, from Legion, if you remember that. And essentially there's three types, you kind of have endurance ones, you have finesse ones, and you have potency ones. And yeah, they kind of only go into this slot. So as you can see, as we hover over, it says it's a potency one. So we grab one of the potency ones and we pop it in the slot there. And there you go. That's kind of what happens. And as I said, you do obtain these through just random content and stuff like that. I'm presuming they're going to be fairly easy to obtain and you can just swap them out. Uh, but it does actually destroy the existing conduit. Not too sure if that's going to be a permanent thing, but as of this build, that is what happens. So then you activate that, move on to the next one. You've got a finesse one. You stick that in and then you go down the line, activate that into the next one, then you have friends in low places, and you get a choice of three. And as you can see, you know, you could choose one of the three types, and really you could kind of mix and match and create your best build that you feel that you want to do, and I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Now, the problem is obviously, you know, when the, when the expansion launches, it'll be like, right, you're a Fury Warrior, this is what you want to do. You want to go with, like, Theotar, and you want to do this exact thing with these specific con uh, conduits, which, yeah, I mean, that is kind of what's going to happen unfortunately, but I think it's cool. I, re I really do like the fact that you kind of just make your kind of way downtown, all the way to the bomb, then you activate it and done. And, and, and there you go. And what's really cool about it is that you can switch between them kind of like a talent spec. So if you're like, right, I want to use this one right now, we'll go to that one. It's just simple as that. There's no cost to switch it up. And essentially you can actually do it from this screen as well. So you don't have to be at the, uh, the Forge of Bonds. You can just run over wherever you are, presumably in a rested area and just kind of swap between some of the stuff, but if you did want to change any of the actual inside of it, any of these skills or anything like that, you do have to return to the Forge of Bonds. But it is pretty cool that you can kind of switch out fairly simply uh, just from that, kind of like a talent tree, as I said. Um, so yeah, I, it, it's an interesting system for sure, and I'm very curious where it's going to go. I mean, this is obviously the iteration of 9.0, uh, and this is a very early iteration. This can obviously change as we go through Alpha and Beta, but 
I, I kind of like it. And, you know, a lot of people have been saying a lot of feedback on the passive abilities for some of the Covenants. They are a little bit OP. And as I said, I'll probably do specific videos going through the Venthyr abilities and the Kyrian abilities, etc. Uh, but yeah, that's another video for another time. This video is specifically just to kind of explain the system as simply as I can. And it's really not too complicated, as I said. So finally, you're probably wondering, all right, so what if I mess it up? What if I do the entire talent tree? And I'm like, oh, you know what? That doesn't really work. I want to reset it. I want to change it and, and all of that. So there is actually a reset and it costs one Reservoir Anima. Not really too sure the relevance of that, not too sure if we're going to get it in the thousands or the hundreds or the hundred thousands, who knows. On the Alpha right now we get it in increments of 10,000, but again, I don't really know the relevance of that. But Ian did say that it's not going to cost a lot and it's not going to be quite as like detrimental as respecing Azrite, for example. So essentially how this works, pretty simple. You press the button, uh, it resets it. It still have the original conduits you did put in. So if you're like, okay, I made a mistake. I'm actually just going to put the exact ones I just put in. You can just do that again, but you reset it and you can choose a new path. And obviously if you're like, okay, I don't want to use this one here. You can just simply, as I showed you earlier, just simply replace it with another one, which will just override it. You can essentially have like a few trees set up for one soul bind. You could kind of have it like today, I'm going to go this way. Tomorrow I'm going to go this way or for PVP, I'll go this way or whatever, right? So pretty cool. As I said, so you just press the reset button it kind of resets all of the stuff there. Uh, pretty easy, pretty simple, and hopefully not a crazy expense uh, when it does come onto the live game. So do let me know down below what you think of the Soulbind system. This is obviously just a part of the Covenant system and something you need to think about when you do choose your Covenant uh, when you reach level 60 in Shadowlands. So before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't before got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to check me out live on the Shadowlands Alpha every single day, uh, doing pretty much everything, we're just about to go into beta, so that's going to be so exciting, and I'm really looking forward to beta. So if you want to check me out streaming the Alpha from beta, twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.